آپ نے سب سے پہلے گھبرانا نہیں ہے ہم مسلمان ہیں ہمارا یہ ایمان ہے کہ زندگی موت اللہ کے ہاتھ میں ہے پاکستان کے وہ حالات نہیں ہیں جو امریکہ کے ہیں یا یورپ کے ہیں اب کیا ہم ان لوگوں کو زبردستی کہے کہ آپ مسجدوں میں نہ جائیں اور کیا اگر یہ مسجد میں جائیں گے تو پھر پولیس نمازیوں کو پکڑ کے جیلوں میں ڈالے گی یہ ایک آزاد معاشرے میں ایسی حرکتیں نہیں ہوتی آج ہم اس خوش قسمت کنڈیشن میں اس لیے ہیں اور خوش قسمت اس لیے میں کہہ رہا ہوں کہ آپ دنیا میں اور ملکوں کا حال دیکھیں اس وقت کہ کس طرح ہزار ہزار آٹھ آٹھ سو دن میں لوگ مر رہے ہیں وہاں تو اس کے مقابلے میں میں یہ کہہ رہا ہوں کہ ان کا جب موازنہ کیا جائے تو ہماری ہمارے حالات بہت بہتر ہیں There are rules to luck. Being lucky also means being prepared, but Imran Khan left everything to chance. He did not impose a strict lockdown. He did not shut places of worship. He let his citizens violate all guidelines. Now karma seems to be hitting him hard. His own ministers have been forced to work from home. The Wuhan virus has infected the Pakistani leadership. The list of patients is quite high. It's quite high profile and it only keeps growing. The latest leader to have caught the virus is the man responsible for fighting the disease. Dr. Zafar Mirza, the man responsible for Pakistan's pandemic response. He tested positive, made the announcement earlier today on Twitter. Dr. Mirza has mild symptoms. He has isolated himself and is said to be taking all precautions. We do hope he has enough masks. Because not very long ago, this very man, the minister, was facing a criminal investigation for smuggling 20 million masks. He was acquitted. Now he's infected. So is Pakistan's foreign minister, Shah Mahmood Qureshi. He tested positive last week. He's been moved to a military hospital in Rawalpindi. He's carrying out his duties from there. Then we have the Federal Minister for Information and Telecommunications, a certain Sayyid Aminul Haq. He tested positive two weeks back. Next on the list, Sheikh Rashid Ahmad, the Federal Minister for Railways in Pakistan, he tested positive on the 8th of June and spent most of the month at a military hospital, again the same one, in Rawalpindi. Then we have Imran Ismail, a PTI leader and the governor of the Sindh province, tested positive two weeks back. Yet Imran Khan did not take the pandemic seriously. Last month, he, served, he was served another reminder. The former Prime Minister of Pakistan caught the virus. I'm sure most of you remember Shahid Khakan Abbasi. He tested positive in June and had to quarantine himself at home. And Mr. Abbasi joins a long list of Pakistani leaders who've tested positive for the Wuhan virus. I can give you more names. Sharjil Memon, a People's Party leader. Chaudhry Ali Akhtar, a PTI provincial lawmaker. Asad Kaisar, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Shehbaz Sharif, Leader of the Opposition in the Pakistan National Assembly, Saeed Ghani, a People's Party leader, Sayed Fazl, the former Governor of Balochistan, Shaheen Raza, a PTI lawmaker in the Punjab province, Ghulam Murtaza Baloch, a Minister for Human Settlements in the Sindh province. These are just names of Pakistani leaders who caught the virus in the last few months. The list is longer, but the expectations from Pakistan, not very many. And he has a bit of unsolicited advice to the Prime Minister. Take this pandemic seriously, because luck runs out.